Good morning. It's the weekend and I was supposed to be at the wedding this weekend, but I couldn't go because they don't take dogs. So I stayed at home with Eddie. <laughs> would be nice to be there, would be nice to see some friends. It's Sibi's friend's wedding, so it's not horrible if I'm not there. But I can't help but feel this relief and the feeling of freedom whenever there's a social obligation cancelled for me. Also, I saved a little bit of cash on the transportation, on the hotel, on the gift. So Eddie and I, we have a little bit of a weekend budget going. And uh, yeah, it's Eddie and me and Berlin is our oyster. <laughs> We're gonna go to Kreuzberg, see a few nice shops, do some errands. We're gonna go to uh, Modular, to the art supply store to get a few things and then we're meeting my friend Abby so yeah I'm looking forward there's some of my favorite places that I haven't been in a while that I want to go see and maybe spend a little bit at and I'm gonna be responsible but yeah it's gonna be fun I'm gonna do exercise first eat something and I'm gonna get going okay before we go I want to show you a little update on the illustration department from this week so I did one private commission um, that is now being printed and I'm gonna pick it up on Tuesday and send it all the way to Australia it's a family portrait and they already ordered an original from me a few weeks ago and now this is the second one with the grandparents I was working on this pharmaceutical content um, I sent off the lice illustrations and now I'm working on some it's just sketches for now but um, a few images for a bladder infection medication <laughs> and I've been doing this TikToks um, I'm gonna show you a few examples I'm gonna have to edit the music out because YouTube doesn't let me use the nice music but I've been doing this, uh, taking this little. I've been taking these little clips of what I wear every day, and then what I wish I were. Um, I draw what I wish I were part because it's one of my favorite things. Looking online at <laughs> nice clothes, but I don't wanna like. I don't and don't want to, and I can't buy all of them. But it's just fun to try them on in a drawing version, and it kind of. Um, reduces my urge to spend on things if I just drew myself wearing them. Let's go. Let's go. We are a little late. Ausstieg links. Everybody, yeah. See the hole so far. Yes. We got a Christmas tree. Cute. From Fulg Berlin. <laughs> Was worth not going for the wedding just to this for this one. <laughs> <laughs> I love the crab. <laughs> so fun. What is this? It's like a it's like a big cake oh. in the south of Germany. Oh. And another pretzel. Is this a uh, Some cookie. Eddie. 
Ready. Okay, we are in the framing department and I'm finally getting this Joanna Villes print. No, actually original framed. Something like this. How you're there. Okay, this is on my wish list. Last time I was in Bosnia, so now I'm in stuff. Mm -hmm. I think you need Honestly, this one also. Yeah. It's for kids. It's so cute. I'm like, no, it's portable. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. Eddie, what do you think? Mm. <laughs> Eddie. Should we get this one? Pocket size. Medium here, okay. Check. <laughs> like this size for drawing the streets. Get just another thin one that I use all the time. Learning taxes. I'm gonna put this as expenses. And then just clean after. Fire event. <laughs> Fire up. <laughs> yeah. Eddie really wants to play, play with the Christmas tree up there. Uh, it's a problem. It is for me. It's for me. Good morning. It's Sunday and I'm having super late breakfast. It's already one. Um, <laughs> it was a little bit of a late start today. The weather hasn't been great. It's been a bit drizzly. I went out with Eddie already, but I really wanted to take him to the Dakar meetup. That's <laughs> every Sunday at one in Humboldt Hein Park here in Berlin. But now it's a little bit past one already. It's quite close to us, the park, and it looks like the weather is okay. So I think I'm just gonna eat this very quickly and take Eddie there. <laughs> it's gonna be so fun. Okay, Eddie's so pumped. Here we are. Let's go. Eddie, stay. Puchasi. Eddie, stay. Puchasi. Puchasi. Stay. I'm gonna give you Eddie Puchaki. Go. He's off. Eddie, go. meetup and it was such fun really that that's my kind of party <laughs> we met honey uh, which is the big brown and tan duck that they babysit sometimes and he was so sweet and friendly they played with Eddie like crazy and he kept jumping into my face and licking me there was also a little fight that Eddie got involved into um, he has, he's had this thing recently where he gets aggressive to, to other little boy dogs sometimes. Sometimes not, but you never know, it's very unpredictable. So two other duckers got into a fight and then Eddie was there um, away from them, like with me. And all of a sudden he just sprinted and joined them in the fight. So I had to pull them apart and it was all fine, but anyway, <laughs> just boys. I'll show you what I got at Modulor yesterday. Here's the receipt. Okay, the first thing I got and needed was this 
block of paper that I always use for commissions and whenever I do originals. When I do ink and watercolor or just ink outlines, I always use this paper. Um, then I got this water brush. Um, Abby said she uses this when she does watercolors on the go and you just fill it up with water in this little cartilage here and then just go into the watercolor pen and just collect colors and the water is there mixed already. Yeah, I've never tried anything like this so I'm curious to see how it works. And then I got a few brushes. These are the ones I normally use for inking. Da Vinci in zero and one, and then I got one in two just to try one thicker. And then I got these two flat brushes because I want to do this um, Skillshare course with Tom Froze, um, and it's called Inky Maps, and I want to make an illustrated map of Berlin. And I think trying some flat brushes would be good for making long straight lines for streets and things like that. I've always inked with round brushes, very thin round brushes, so I'm curious to see what kind of textures and line qualities I can get with different brushes. That goes here. And then I bought this wooden frame and Passepartout to finally frame this original illustration by Joanna Viles, which is my favorite illustrator. I bought this little tiny spud bud illustration in New York in a picture room gallery by the same people that own um, Sorter House. So I'm finally gonna frame it and then I need to frame a bunch of other illustrations and then hang them. And then I'm finally gonna do a apartment tour, the updated one, for this Prince Lauerberg apartment. There he is! Oh my god, so precious! <sighs> Spud bud! I can't believe my favorite illustrator drew this with a pen and I have the original. I love potatoes also. So, the guy at Mondelor said that frame already comes with a, like a plain um, acid-free paper, which you can use as a background for the original. Okay, there's the paper. Then he gave me a tiny bit of double-sided tape just to use a tiny amount on the back side of the illustration to put it into the background paper just a tiny tiny little square Oh god, they will really make a small job here eee. Spud bud. I added one more little, little piece of tape in this corner. Yeah. I'm gonna draw another one of these TikTok outfit videos of what I wore and what I wanted to wear. It's not gonna show here probably. I think today for Sunday I want to make me and Eddie wear one of these Tikla bathrobes and pajamas. So they have these amazing bathrobes stripey or solid color ones oh my god this is what i'm gonna wear today Okay, 
I think that's gonna be it for this week's video. I hope you liked it. I had so much fun. And um, have a good week and I'll see you in the next one.